Hey YouTube, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your audio quality inside Discord. I am currently in a call, so I'll just uh, let you look at my home screen. So I'm going to show you guys how to increase your Discord quality and some things that are on there that you probably never even knew about. Either you have a good mic, like a really good mic, uh, mediocre headset mic. Honestly, I think I, f I feel like a headset mic is probably the lowest, you know, the minimum. The bare minimum at least of this if not you probably have a yeti you got other usb mics or you have an xlr which is you know in the microphone world considered a complete upgrade from uh any usb microphone even the 20 dollars ones you'd be surprised what an x uh m 8500 can do um so first we're gonna open up discord um you know everyone should see this uh, my discord is you know just normal uh no no extensions nothing here currently so if you go under voice and video, so most people didn't even know this thing, uh, this was a thing. So people, when people ask me about discord quality that, you know, I show them a few things that they probably didn't even know. So there's a, I'm going to run down it really quick and I'm going to show you what I'd recommend. And you should also test it out yourself because not every microphone can do the same thing. I'm currently cheating. So, uh, let me just, Hey, I'll show you what it sounds like when I turn everything off for me. You hear a lot of background noise, but it still sounds good. But, um, I'm using external hardware, but let's say I, I had a mic, I didn't have any kind of processing or I wasn't able to do any kind of processing. Other than a compressor, um, I'm technically not doing anything else. So let's take a look at this. Um, currently, so the first part you see when you open this up is a input sensitivity. It kind of has a barrier of when that gate kind of opens when you talk. So I have background noise. So let's be quiet here for a second and let's see what it does. You can, you hear, can it. hear it. So, um, you'll be able to hear the buzzing so say we were to just you know i'm at 65 currently say we were to just go to like 50. buzzing noise is gone so that's good for the people um or here's another way i wouldn't really recommend this if you have a better mic then you should actually so by default discord has this stuff on discord will always have this stuff on so let me actually just fix my mic here um so you can hear me better at least for the video um so discord will have the voice processing on uh, by default so echo cancellation, noise reduction, and uh, automatic gain control, which I do use because I want I want to be louder. I don't really care the most about quality. I prefer that people hear me than me be quiet because when I'm quieter, it sounds better, but you can't hear me. Like you're, I'm just quiet, so people complain about it. So I turn it up. I use automatic gain control um, because when I record, my gain is perfectly fine. My volume is great. All right, so going back to the top, let's turn off this stuff and uh, let, let's listen to it through uh, Discord. So I'm going to disable the voice recording quality and you'll just hear it through here. All right. So what the so if you really see what it does it like balances it, it cuts everything off um so you can hear that you now it sounds pretty bad now echo cancellation it already fixes a lot of that so echo cancellation is not something you really need at all um it's pretty much useless at least in discord it's almost like a mm, i don't know i don't know what to call it but it's pretty much useless noise reduction is also like other thing well, it's kind of suppress. It'll do a good job of like getting rid of background noise. Echo cancellation is a little different. I don't really know how to explain what it does, but it it just like what you and people don't even know that they have this on sometimes. Another thing is you can have automatic one, so it indicates when I am talking. So it's it's completely up to you if you want to use that. Um, it does work, I guess, but I prefer to set mine, you know, manually. So these are my settings. I only use automatic gain control. Everything else uh, you can look at. I would turn on audio subsystem if you're using an interface and put it to legacy because it's on standard by default. Uh, yeah, so it's on standard by default. Your output, your input, sorry, is your microphone. So it should be at 100% most of the time as well, unless it's way too loud. But then again, that might be a problem with your just in-game volume. I mean, your uh, microphone volume. So echo cancellation, noise reduction. Turn off echo cancellation. You probably don't need it. I can't even think of a headset microphone that would really need it. Noise reduction. Um, use it if you really, really need to. Automatic gain control if you need to, or it's just opinion. If you think you're loud enough, then you should be fine. Uh, people just have to turn you up, which they, they can do. So then again, this brings me back. Uh, you're going to need to do a little more processing with the headphone, the headset microphones, because, you know, they're headsets. They're, they're all right. They're not the best. A Blue Yeti. Uh, might need some of this noise reduction, but then again, they're not bad if you know how to use them Just get them off the desk and onto a boom arm uh, other microphone if you have an interface set up and XLR I'm assuming you kind of know what to do So I don't really need to say much on that if you don't let me know down in the comments if you have any questions Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one